formation of amines. So uh, this this compound that I'm uh, for this example I have used propane nitride. So it's uh, written as propane. Propane because three carbon atoms and nitrile because obviously the functional group is nitrile. So it's called propane nitrile because three carbon atom giving uh, carbon atoms giving to pro and uh, then the nitrile. So propane nitrile uh, is the reagent I'm using here in this example. So the reduction of nitriles results in the formation of amines. So in this case, what's happening is that I have used uh, LiAlH4, which is a very strong reducing agent, LiAlH4. And the condition is that LiAlH4 is, uh, should be in dry ether. And then we do the reduction reaction. So in reduction, we have to, uh, we write H over here. In oxidation, we write O. In reduction, we write H. Uh, because reduction is defined as the gain of hydrogen. So CH3CH2CN plus 4H uh, because re reduction and uh, it gives us propane, uh, uh, propylamine, not propane, propylamine because you have three carbon atoms, it's propyl and then the amine group. So propylamine. But um, now if you see what's the only thing that has changed here, this ethyl group, which is CH3CH2, it remains unchanged in both. But the CN, uh, the C gains H2 and the N also gains H2. So basically what happens is that the nitrile ion breaks to form CH2 and H2. Uh, and hence we get propylamine from propane nitrile. And this is the reaction and the condition needed for it. Now another way of making amines is the reduction of amides. So uh, we will be, uh, as we go further in this presentation, we will, be, we will be learning about what amides are. But for now, what you need to know that this is the amide group. And when we reduce amides, we get amines. So if you see, again, I have used LiAlH4 as the reducing agent, same condition, because LiAlH4 is always used in dry ether. And uh, when I reduce this, I get rid of the oxygen so the, uh, again, the ethyls remains the same in both cases. This is ethanamide. We'll be doing the naming of amides very soon uh, as we go further in this presentation. But this is ethanamide, ethan because, uh, sorry, not ethanamide, propanamide. I'm really sorry about that. It will be propanamide because three carbon atoms. So propan and amide. Propanamide. Propanamide. So this is three carbon atoms, so propanamide. And uh, when we reduce this, we get propylamine. Because you can see three carbon atoms and uh, the amine group, so propylamine. Now, what I was saying is that uh, you can see that CH3CH2, CH3CH2, same in both cases. So nothing is changing. The only thing that, and the NH2 is also the same. The only thing that changes is that the CO transforms into a CH2. So it has been reduced and it has now become a CH2 group. So the remaining, we get H2O. So H2 is released in this reaction and we get, we, as we reduce the amide to form an amine, we get a uh, in this example from propanamide to propylamine and water as a byproduct. Now, how do we form phenylamine? So we have talked about three ways in which aliphatic amines can form. Now let's talk about how aromatic amines are formed. So uh, I've written that tin, solid tin plus concentrated HCl is uh, used as the reagents. The concentrated is very important. So do not forget that, forget to write that in your answers. And uh, the condition is heat. So we heat the reaction and this is also a reduction. Uh, as you can see this symbol, it's also a reduction reaction. So uh, in the formation of phenylamine, we, we reduce nitrobenzene. So nitrobenzene is basically this. This is nitrobenzene. And we have NO2 in over here in nitrobenzene we have NO2 
So, if you watch my video on uh, uh, benzene and its compounds.